ho, 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 boom shakalaka, what is up guys, Randall here from Crypto Love, and bringing you a very early Christmas present, this is what I think are the top cryptos for January. Now before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone subscribing out there, thank you to everyone mashing on that like button, and if you want to find out how to win a free Ledger Nano S, stay tuned. Now, getting started, I start where I always start, coin market cap, all right? I take a look at the cryptos, see which ones I think in my crystal ball are going to be doing well in the upcoming months. Hopefully, doubling, tripling, quadrupling, 10 timing in January, we'll see, I don't know. I'm not making any promises here, all right? Guys, to begin with, the first one. Now, it should be mentioned that Bitcoin is down pretty low in price right now. It may come up in the future. Probably won't double, triple, quadruple, 10 times, but I think the price could go up. But anyways, Lisk, all right? You guys who watch the channel know I talk about Lisk all the time because I have like a big boy crush on Lisk, and, uh, but I think they have a lot to gain in January because, you see, most people know that February 20th, they have an announcement coming up. They actually have a relaunching, like an Apple keynote style relaunching, all right? And that could positively affect the price because most people are going to want to buy it before that event. Because probably after the event, the price is going to skyrocket. How high? Nobody knows. But Lisk right now is at $18.59. It's down a little bit. It was up to a high of $25 last week. Wow, that was exceptional. Gosh, I like that. And I don't even think that's a high compared with how it can go. So what is Lisk for you guys who are asking? I'm sure you're going to ask where to buy it pretty much on every marketplace. Bittrex, Poloniex, HitBTC, Binance, you can get it everywhere, all right? But what is it? It's a super simple blockchain application platform. So we all know Ethereum is uh, very slow, very clogged up, can't scale right now. It's kind of on its last legs. And some ones that could take over the business, like fine German engineering, would be Lisk. So keep an eye out for that, all right? On JavaScript, super easy. You guys know, I talk about it all the time. Okay, next one, KuCoin shares. Now you're saying KuCoin shares, what the heck? Yeah, KuCoin shares, because, all right, there is a brand new exchange. Now it's not brand new, but it's pretty new. And if you didn't see it, I did a review of it yesterday where I show you how easy it is to use. But basically, let me just show you. This is the brand new exchange, KuCoin Exchange, all right? And look at all these different cryptos that they have, like young Asian cryptocurrencies that could do very, very well in the future. Lots of really good projects, lots of stuff going on there. So there's a whole bunch of different cryptos that some of them are only here on KuCoin right now, all right? But some of them are only listed on a few exchanges. And the crazy thing is, look at all these different pairings. So they have Bitcoin pairings, they have Ethereum pairings, they even have NEO pairings, all right? And that stuff is crazy. Now, why the KuCoin shares? Well, if you guys remember, I was talking about the Binance coin back when it was like a dollar. Now it's $5 and change. Because the more people use this exchange, the more valuable that coin is going to be. Now, this coin is used in two ways on that exchange. One, if you hold the coin, you get rewarded for all the exchange fees that they get. But also, if you hold the coin, your uh, trading fees are lessened. So, two awesome reasons to hold the coin anyways. But the more people use this exchange, the more expensive this coin is going to be. So, it's in pretty darn early. So, I would say go and get it. The only place to get it, obviously, KuCoin Exchange. Duh. All right. Next one. Next one has seen some explosive growth recently, and I think it's only the beginning. The next one is Zcoin. So Zcoin is by far one of my favorite privacy coins. All right. I really like the zero coin protocol that they have. Basically, each coin that they have is minted brand new, and it's very cool because there's literally no history on the coins. So like when and if we need privacy coins, this is going to be the one that I go to just because it's completely private. Nobody can track anything. It is like, whoosh, oh God, it's a mystery. All right. But, 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 but that's cool. Okay. I get that stuff is cool, but here's a thing that is crazy. All right. Look at this supply. 3 million. That's not very much. All right. That's like a seventh of Bitcoin. All right, even Dash, Dash right now is up over a thousand dollars. That's half of Dash. Guys, that is mind blowing. That is like teeny, 
And this one, I mean, I was fortunate enough to start buying it back when it was $10. I'm still buying it now. It's pretty damn awesome. And I think the price could go up quite a bit, easily be in the hundreds of dollars. They also have master nodes, so it could go way up over there. I mean, that stuff could be crazy. Now, where can you buy that? You can buy that on Bittrex, Binance, whatever. Yeah. So, the next one. The next one is B the next two, actually. This is like two in one. Could be three in one, but only two are available on exchanges right now. So it's based on the Blockchain Interoperability Alliance. All right, so you guys know there are a lot of different blockchains out there. There's a Bitcoin blockchain, there's the Ethereum blockchain, there's a Cardano blockchain, there's this blockchain and that blockchain and this blockchain and that blockchain. Well, these next two cryptos are based on basically interoperating those blockchains, making them work together so that they can share information. So we'll have basically one universal blockchain of information, or at least an interoperable blockchain of information. Now, what are they specifically? Well, ICON is inter interconnecting blockchain networks that connect independent blockchains without additional intermediaries. And then Aeon aims to be the common protocol used for these blockchains, enabling more efficient and decentralized systems to be built. Now, ICON, all right, right now it's three dollars and seventy-two cents. You can get it on Binance and OK Exchange. Recently, it did have a pump, so we saw a price jump recently to four dollars and change. Now it's coming back down. Um, but one thing that I want to note about ICON is right now it's off the radar of a lot of people because it's not in the top hundred, it's not in the top two hundred, it's not in the top three hundred. They have not listed the circulating supply on Coin Market Cap, so because of that. It's ranked 1,066th. This is kind of like an insider thing that I think could potentially turn out pretty well for people who invest in ICON now. Because with their, if you take a look at their website, their token sale ended, and 50% of their tokens, where is it? Right here. 50% of their 400 million tokens were sold. So that means they have 200 million tokens. Well, 200 million tokens times three dollars and change would be six hundred seven hundred million dollars well guess where that would put it that would put it up into the ranks let's find that right here number 33 34 35 36 if it jumps up there immediately everybody's gonna be like oh my god what is this i gotta buy this how come i didn't know about this where'd it come from oh my goodness ah and they're gonna be freaking out and the price of icon is going to jump ridiculously not to mention it's based on an awesome platform i mean the ideas that they're doing with that are very cool. They're hyper connecting the world. They're bu they're building the blockchain interoperability. Now, along with Icon, there's also Aeon. Now, Aeon has been ranked in the top 171 right now, and it's at four dollars, which is pretty high compared with where it's been. But I think it's very early on in terms of development, and I think that this blockchain interoperability, because guys, I've said this before, and I say this again, that I believe it's the platforms and the blockchains that are really going to be the things that stick around. There's a lot of little projects coming up here and there and here and there. And it's like cute to have this little like block thing on the blockchain. Like it's cool, let's have this on the blockchain. But really being part of the blockchain, being the blockchain, that's where the value is. That's the Amazons, the Googles, the Facebooks. That's where it is. So that's why I think these could potentially go up quite a bit. And guys, I've saved my best, my favorite for last. So my last one is Dragon Chain. All right, this one, I just recently uh, started putting a lot of money in because I think it can be huge. All right, let me just show you the website. Oh my gosh, such a nice website. All right, I know I'm a sucker for websites. I'm a sucker. But guys, this is a blockchain backed by Disney, okay? Like, this is the first huge company backing a blockchain. Disney. Disney. Let me say it one more time. Disney. Okay? Disney is backing a blockchain. Look at how cool this dragon looks. Okay? I know I get excited about these stupid little things, but look at how cool that is. Now, not only do they have a blockchain, which is going to compete with Ethereum and all these other blockchains, um, but they also have an incubator. All right, so this is like something like Kickstarter already built in. And then they also have a marketplace so you can find talent. So this is like getting people on Odesk or other things. So all of this is already built into their blockchain and they're backed by Disney. Fra, cha, blah, right? 
Additionally, it's not easy to get. If you want to get it, you have to go to KuCoin or Ether Delta or Tidex, okay? So it's not easy to get. And it's only 80 cents right now. This is one that could potentially be enormous. That's why I'm saying it. That's why I'm putting a lot of my own money into Dragon Chain because I think it could potentially be huge, especially when it gets to other markets, especially when Disney starts getting a recognition for all this stuff. Guys, it has the potential to be absolutely enormous. That's why I saved it for last. So I think that one, whew, that one's up there. If you guys don't know how to use uh, KuCoin, just check out my latest video on KuCoin. I did it. I showed you how to use KuCoin, how to set it up, how to buy... I even showed you how to buy Dragon Chain on there, all right? And that's crazy. Now, guys, if you made it all the way through and you want to win a Ledger Nano S, just go to crypto-love.com slash ledger. You too can win. I give away a free Ledger Nano S every Tuesday at our late night live stream. So go sign up for that there. And then the rest of you guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome Christmas, holidays, whatever you do. Enjoy yourself because that's what life is about. Having fun, living, loving, and, you know, peace and everything like that. So, enjoy, guys. I hope these make you a lot of money. That's what I want to do. Make you a lot of money, even though I'm not a financial advisor. So, I will catch you guys next time. Until then, peace.